Hi everyone, so today's video is an exciting one because this is a video that I've been waiting to film for so long um, since I wanted to make these stockings. So if you saw the intro, I think I did like a little um, cute little clips of uh, the stockings on the mantles. And so now I'm gonna talk a little bit about the stockings themselves. So uh, right after this video, I'm gonna have the clip of where I do the wood burning and I do the, um, where I put together the tags and how I got everything together at the end. But right now, I wanna talk about the stockings. So these are, these are the stockings. This is my son's, this is Henry's. And I actually, I added the Jingle Bell right last minute. So I found this one in my um, craft drawer. So I went ahead and added it and I feel like it gives it a nice little Christmas touch and it does jingle. I love it and also I felt like it went very well with the rings since they're both the same uh, silver metal uh, and you can see that I played a, around a lot with different uh, materials so I have metal there's wood there's greenery and then there's the yarn so you can see that it does come together very nicely playing with the different materials and I just love the way it turned out um, this is my son's Henry's, and this is Victoria's, which also has a little jingle bell. And on the back, I made sure I hot glued very well this um, little piece of the boxwood, the glitter boxwood, so it doesn't fall off. And I also threaded, you'll see in the video and become um, in the next clips, but I did thread the, the piece of uh, yarn through the jingle bell as well as uh, hot glued it on there. So I did that one. These colors, because I thought it would be fun for the kids to have a colored stocking this year. But I mean, whenever they grow up and if they want the same one as ours, then I'll go ahead and make them in this cream color. These are super pretty. I loved how they look very like farmhouse decor. Uh, it has the metal, the wood, the greenery for sure, and the color. So it's a very classic stocking. And these are usable stockings. So I did use the pattern from Teresa from Dubros. I'm sorry if I'm butchering that. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard, I think anyone say her name, but I'll link everything down below. And I did pay for the pattern myself. It, the pattern was $5. And it is crochet, and what I loved about it is that it looks knit. It's super pretty, and it has a good structure to it. And I feel like once I put the stocking stuffers, it'll have um, a very nice, uh, it'll hold up pretty nicely. But I'll keep you guys informed about how the stocking stuffers go. I wanted to read you really quickly about the pattern itself. So I purchased it on her website and it's called Crochet the Noel with the W. So I did go ahead and purchase it myself. It is $5 and this is what it says. It, the Noel stocking is a DeBras <laughs> original made entirely with crochet. The knit look wood ring, which she did use a wood ring, so she suggested, but I didn't have some with me and I really wanted something more metal. So that's the fun part of creating your own unique stocking is that you can play around with either the wooden rings or there's also metal rings. So there's that. It's uh, this piece is a classic finish perfect for any loved one, which is true. I actually plan on making more stockings way earlier next year for my family. Um, and so happy making and happy holidays, XX. Uh, this PDF includes instructions for two sizes. I actually have a small one and a large one. So there she has the suggested size, um, the sizes that she has available for you. She does use the size, I think it's like a chunky size. You can tell it's probably wool in these, wool ease by Lion Brand. Um, option to create a fillable versus a purely decorative stocking. So she does give you options on how to finish the stocking if you just want to hang it up for decoration or if you really wanted, like me, add um, 
a fillable one. So I did use the fillable option. Uh, and the crochet skill level is easy. Some experience is helpful. It includes photos and diagrams. I will say her photos and her diagrams in her PDF file is very helpful. I love how she instructs you like where to first start um, finishing off the rings and then where to start and finishing up with the rest of the stocking if you're doing a fillable one. So I really enjoyed that part. I, and I agree with her, it's fairly easy pattern. Um, but she, she does have helpful videos on her YouTube if you ever have any questions. So I will say that I had a great experience with this pattern for sure. And the only thing different that I did uh, was use two strands of versus your weight. <laughs> I can never say it. it's like a tongue twister. Um, I used, so it's a, uh, in her skein it'll say number four, so worst your weight. Uh, it's a, I used, I held two strands held together, and this yarn is the Hobby Lobby yarn, and I feel like it's, uh, I don't know, gave, it's a little fluffier. So it, it almost mimics a bulky sized yarn, I would say. So, I mean, it definitely gave it a pretty decent size. I didn't want it so huge, so two strands held together was, I think is the perfect match. So if you have, the other thing is I already had um, this yarn on hand, instead of going and buying some of my bulky sized yarn, I just held two strands held together and it works just as fine for me. So, yes, I think that was, I think that's it. I had so much fun making these. I will say, I these were made doing a lot of slip stitches. So, <laughs> I, two, four, six, eight. So eight panels, slip stitches. Um, I wasn't able to work between different types of different projects at the same time because my muscle memory was so into just doing slip stitches that it was hard i think it's going to be hard for me to get back and doing other stitches because i all i've been literally making are just half uh slip stitches so that's going to be fun and interesting to see how i get back <laughs> on that but with that said Thank you so much for watching if you uh, made it all the way here. And if you want to watch how I put these together, then to just keep watching. And I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas. I will, won't be posting another video until after Christmas. I'll be spending it with my family. So I hope you guys have a nice, nice Christmas. And yeah, I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.
everyone, so now that I've shown you how I did my uh, wood burning little tag name tags for these stockings, um, we're going to get started on the assembly part. So you can also, you don't have to use the wood burning tags, um, you could also just have some tags and then write it in with a marker, which is what I did with the, after I finished, I did go over the names with a dark brown color pencil if you can see just to intensify the um, the name on it and these are how they turned out I also for my kids names I wrote on the back love mom 2019 because I do want this to be for them and have a little keepsake for years to come so these are my name tags, and let me show you what else I'm going to be using for the assembly part for the tags. So this right here I found at Walmart. It is a uh, glittered boxwood um, faux leaves, and this was only 97 cents at Walmart. So that was fun. That was a really great find because I only need four of these little stems, which I'm going to be adding to the back of the tag. So I'm using some twine. Um, or rope or y cotton yarn. Uh, I also went ahead and grabbed these from my craft uh, drawer. Uh, I had some jingle bells left over from a few years back. I used some scissors and right over here I have a glue gun um, that is heating up ready to go. Hey guys so I am on my uh, last two stockings to decorate and I want to show you how I ended up decorating them. This is Victoria's and this is Henry's so I think I found a really nice way to incorporate the little jingle bell with the star and the little box Here is my 12 inch um, rope and I'm going to go ahead and do mine and I do need a needle to thread this through the little hole star and if I could go back and do the and drill the holes I would do two so I can insert it like a button um, so I can insert two so the rope wouldn't show on the side but that's okay um, we, you guys will learn um, from how I did it <laughs> so that's I think I would make those two little holes so the button like a little two little button holes um, but this works out too so what I'm going to do now is put the jingle bell through here, insert it right there. Let me go ahead and zoom you guys in just to show you. So I'm going to zoom it up, zoom it in, and I'm going to even out this rope like this. And when I hang my stockings, they kind of hang at like an angle like this. So what I'm going to do and how I placed it on my kids also is over here in this corner that is the highest. Like Now I want to hold this little jingle bell in place. So this is where my handy glue gun comes in hand. And please be careful if you're using one. But I just go ahead and add some glue and I just hold it on. And just hold it for a few seconds until you feel like it's dried and it's pretty steady. Okay. And I mean that was fast. That was super quick. So now, now if you remember seeing, I actually cut these in. There were five little, um, I guess, branches um, on that uh, boxwood leaf that I found at Walmart. Let me zoom you guys out. And so I did need my gardening scissors, uh, gardening shears, because it is wired. So you can cut this up as little or as big as you want. I chose to keep keep them pretty long, um, pretty big because of the length it already has. Now, this part, I, I don't have my gardening shears right now. So what I do, I just fold this over. And I find... A good middle middle spot here and I just basically just put glue all over the back of the star 
definitely uses a lot of glue um, just to make sure it's really stays in place. And you get every little inch in there. And like I said, if you have a little cardboard, you can, it helps you get into those little nooks and crannies in the little boxwood uh, branches. So it has a good grasp of, um, it holds on to it. It doesn't come off. So there is how I, and we're basically almost done. All I have to do now is just tie it to the stocking and we're finished. You can choose to just kind of wiggle these out like that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the piece of twine or yarn in the bottom first. And I am going to also, um, you could use the needle, you could just use your hands because these, these holes are pretty big, but I'm going to use a crochet hook uh, just to make it just a little easier. Uh, but I'm going to grab the bottom one first and just pull it through one of these holes. Just like that. And then the one on top. There and just pull it, and all I'm gonna do is tie it off, make a nice knot so it doesn't fall. That's why I like using twine or any kind of cotton one because if you do use like acrylic yarn, it might not hold as strong as one of these, and you are nice and secure for. A couple more Christmases so you can use this and then I just weave in any ends to hide them so I should have used a little bigger crochet hook but there you go it's not too bad I don't need it to be perfect I feel like it looks really great and I love adding greenery to my home decor. I feel like it gives it some sort of warmth, especially for Christmas.